sparkly little unicorns on my let's have a chat video I asked people what they wanted to see I had a few messages and a few comments on it sort of saying <sighs> vlog so here I am vlogging I'm currently in my office at the moment which is a bit of a pigsty I've been filming and that's why they're there I'm also going through bags and stuff so these are like all my clutch bags and I'm going through dresses I'm trying to work out what I'm going to wear tonight. I am planning on going out. Whether that happens or not, I'm not 100% sure. Because it kind of depends on people. It is the middle of the week. Um, I'm off. Emily is off, but she doesn't feel fab. And my other friend is off as well tomorrow. I know I could do with a nice dance. I say a nice dance, it'd be a terrible dance. But when I've had a couple of drinks, I think I'm the hottest thing in the club. I'm watching like an old selfie video. I think it's just been on a loop because I don't remember putting that on. I have to prep dinner and lunches for the week. It's Tuesday right now. Do you like my outfit today? I'll show you a quick uh uh da. Let me just preheat my oven. I have on this absolutely adorable little top with this collar, this little leopard print cardi, and I'm wearing this skirt and tights, and then very, very fetching little warm booties. I'm really, really cozy. I need to, actually, I'm gonna go get my tripod because I'm going to make a keto chicken curry. If you've been following my journey for the past week or so, you will know that I've been on keto. Bag of chicken breast. I will stick in some coconut milk. Right, I'm at the point of the day where I'm checking my comments. Three. They're all my mom. My mom's my biggest fan and I love it. Well, you are the cutest. You are the cutest little puppy ever. You're not a puppy, you're an old maid, aren't you now? You're 13. But not a day over 21 in mind, no. What does that make you in dog years? Human years to dog years. Oh, apparently it's different in larger breeds. Okay. Um, so, Charlie is... You're about 82, bitch. 82! You look good for your age. Yes, you do. And the cat... She is, okay, so Tyler Lily's five years. So Tyler Lily's like 36. You guys wanted this. You guys wanted vlogging, so this is me. I mean, I presume you wanted, like, me going out and looking at pretty things and Christmas stuff, but no. I give you this quality content. I've got the new Sims. I contemplated setting up a sort of new series on my channel um maybe doing the sims if you'd like me to start a sims segment maybe once or twice a month then let me know because i have considered doing it and i do absolutely love the sims like i can remember when i first got the sims one and everything set on fire that was fun that's a big yawn that's a big yawn isn't it? Oh yes, we know you're here too. Okay, so <laughs> there's been a change of plans. I've just realised that I have an TV subscription, which I didn't realise because it came with my phone contract when I got my new phone. And apparently there is all of Geordie Shore on it. If you guys didn't know this about me, I am a huge Geordie Shore fan. I haven't caught up on the last few seasons because I've been struggling to find it and I don't have MTV. But I do have Now TV. So I'm shutting the curtains. I put the fairy lights on. I'm gonna chill out with the pets. Curl up on the sofa and watch it in my little mermaid blanket. I'm so excited. Why am I so excited? You don't know. But you're excited too. <laughs> Bless you. Should we get your bed? Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Mama. Let's get your bed. Come on then. You've broken your bed. Again. I'm not buying you another fancy bed. There you go, you can sit next to me. It'll be great. Okay. Geordie Shaw. 
Let's go. This program contains strong language, sexual scenes, and references from the outset and throughout. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, checking in. Uh, I'm watching season 14 of Geordie Shaw and I got super, super hungry. It's, since being on keto, this is the first time I've actually just sat down and watched some telly without it being like meal time, sort of in between meal times. I'm doing something, I'm editing, I'm filming, but because I'm so ahead of everything, like, I've just been sat and I don't know whether it was boredom or just sheer hunger, I don't know. <sighs> I've just made myself scrambled eggs with two small eggs and had one large chicken breast that was already pre-cooked and then my low carb bread is tiny so it probably counts to the equivalent of like one slice of bread as well. And now I feel really sick. Why do I do these things to myself? Things have sort of gone a bit south really. Emily has bailed on me because she's not feeling well. Which is fair enough, but it's still a bit of a bummer. Mark's now going out, so it's looking like I'm gonna be in on my own. And uh, my friend from work hasn't replied to me yet, but I'm not hopeful. I've come up to my bedroom, because I'm feeling kind of sorry for myself. But I thought, no, it's okay. I can just go for a bath, get in my gym jams, and watch Georgie Shaw for the rest of the night. And now my internet is dead. What did we do before the internet? Just one of those days, isn't it? I'm just really glad that I have like, all my videos uploaded for like the next four days because possibly could be without internet. Ugh. I hope you're enjoying this vlog guys. I mean, quality, quality blooming content, right? The temptation to order a pizza right now. Mark's home now. Hello. <laughs> the, <laughs> I wish. The internet is still dead. It's not just me being silly. Mark has, well, he's trying to fix it because I can't, I don't know. How was your day? Me? Sorry. Good. Yeah? <laughs> that was well worth the wait in my input. It was this quality content. You guys asked for vlogs and here they are. Here's a vlog. Here quality. is me. Here is me. Hello. So, my day included getting up and then after that I had to go to work. And whilst at work I worked and I ate food. I went for what a walk. What food did you eat? Were they keto friendly? I ate the food you prepared for me. Oh, well, then they were probably not keto friendly. They were salads. They had cake. And someone got out like a carrot cake and a chocolate cake and like a red velvet cake. Just started slicing them. Oh, Mark, would you like a bit? Did they know you couldn't? No. Hello, Mamao. Come on, Ned. Feed me, humans. Come on, Ned. Feed me. Feed me. Is my food up there? Then I'm not coming up there. <laughs> you just like tapping the pillow for no reason. Have you fixed the internet yet? I've tried to. Ah! Let's chat to an advisor. Oh no. He's going to go through all the flippy questions and you're going to say, I have done everything that I meant to do. And they don't listen. They make you go through all those questions again. They will. Um, Emily is coming round now. Um, whether we go out is still is up in the air again. I've been asked if I am doing fine. Are you doing fine? No, we have no internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm speaking to a helpline. I am not doing fine. I've been thanked for bringing this to their attention. You know what, next week I'm just gonna start a chat with them and they say, is anything wrong? No. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Are you doing fine? I just thought I'd bring it to your attention that we are also doing fine. It's gonna be a long night of no internet, isn't it? I'm so annoyed though, Mark. I found out that all of Geordie Shaw is on Now TV. Is it? Yeah. Right? So I started so watching it. It's on Now TV subscription. Yeah. So I started watching it and then the internet went. You're gonna sit quietly or you're gonna run away. Hello. Oh, Hello. look at that cat. She loves you. I am now speaking to Diorama. Don't know how to respond to this. Despair, no hope and despair. Update on the uh, internet situation. So he's just asked Mark if he is, no, what did he say? You, ta you take it away, baby, you take it away. So after a while of reviewing the previous comments with the other agent, he replied to me saying, um, are you talking to us via your Wi-Fi? No, my internet is down, so yes. I'm on the Wi-Fi of the broken internet, talking to you. 
I can remember one time we had an issue and they actually told Mark to point the router in the direction of the device that we wanted to work. So we could only pick one device apparently and have that point, like that device work. Good morning. Okay, so <laughs> last night turned into a wee bit of a disaster. So obviously our net went and that was a bit of a pain in the ass. Emily ended up coming round in the end, which was great. Um, she hadn't told me how sick she actually, sorry, I'm just fastening my bag. Uh, she hadn't actually told me how sick she was. So um, after she sort of said some of the more serious symptoms, let's say, I was like, why are you here? Why, I appreciate you like coming, but I thought you just had a couple of sniffles. So I was like, no, go home, bitch, go home. Mark got home after his sort of, I, don't, I think he went to play Warhammer with his friends and stuff. And as soon as he got home, I was like, oh, I've not eaten dinner. And he's like, no, I've not had dinner. Because when I go out, I don't tend to eat dinner because I end up feeling really poorly when I do. We're like, let's order food. And I don't know what happened. We, like, if it was on the menu, we pretty much ordered it. That's not keto. Pizza isn't keto. Neither's garlic bread, neither's chips, neither's a burger. Like, it, I don't know what we, what we actually ordered, because, like, everything. There was burgers, kebabs, chicken, all sorts came. It only cost me, like, 20 quid. So I don't know whether we got someone else's order or something. And I've woken up and I feel greasy and sweaty and I need to pee a lot again today and I'm desperate for water again. It's like my kidneys are trying to flush out what I've eaten. We are still without internet. So I've put the Sims on. I've got a friend coming round and we're probably gonna go out to lunch in which I'm gonna have a salad and try and get back into ketosis as quickly as possible. Cause I feel y'all. Good morning. Day three of no internet. I'm in such a bad mood. This like internet issue. I can't do anything. Like I have a phone, which means I can still keep in contact with people and have emails and stuff like that. But trying to do anything from a tiny phone, like Christmas shopping or, I know this is such a first world problem. I am so used to being to just get on the net. My whole life is on the net. Even in terms of what I watch, I use Netflix, Now TV, <laughs> things like that, YouTube. Like I can watch it from my phone, but then that eats my data. And I'm dangerously close to eating all my data. Technology hates me this week. The amount of things that have broken this week for me is embarrassing. It just keeps breaking and breaking and lots of different devices. Touch wood that this camera does not break. I'll show you what I got though from Primark while I'm here. So I picked up um, some bath bombs. Let me grab my little bath bomb basket that I have going on. We have the Monster, which is about to be discontinued. So I was like, I need to pick it up. This is like my favorite bath bomb ever. I bought these a couple of days ago, but I got this Christmas pudding and that's called Midnight Mass. And it smells amazing. This one, which is called dash away and then i picked up these they're like little baffers they're like little christmas trees and whoops snowman i've also just found out that um if you guys have heard of the room you must have heard about the disaster cut artist coming out if you've not heard about the room it's like this cult film if you're over 18 go and watch the room because i cannot explain it to you it just has to be seen if you're over 18 and maybe 15 no 18 18. It just has to be seen. There's no there's no way to explain it. Where my friend lives, they're doing a screening of The Disaster Artist, which is the spoof of this film, The Room. And they're doing a Q&A with one of the cast members as well of the original film. So we booked tickets to see that and that's on the 22nd. I can't even, I'm far too excited for that. I'll see if I can vlog. I'm not gonna be able to obviously vlog the film or anything like that, but I might be able to vlog the Q&A. I'll let you know. Oh, I'm so excited. So he's just booked tickets for that, so we're off to see that on the 22nd. So that's quite a big anxiety for me. Even just the cinema is a huge anxiety for me, but I, I'm getting better. I'm getting so much better. Uh, so like, I haven't got too much reservation about it. Hello, I am back from 
town. It's so windy out there guys. It's blowing a 10-4 scale. I'm glad I came back when I did. So if you've been here for a while, you will know that I have major, major anxiety. It's not public transport that is my issue. It's just traveling anywhere on my own that is my anxiety. And I haven't been on a bus on my own in six years since like <laughs> forever ago. And today I went and got on a bus on my own and I went shopping on my own. I went and got my nails done. Look how cute these are. Absolutely in love. And I went and got my eyebrows done. You might be able to tell. I was sat getting my nails done and literally the woman goes to me, do you want me to do your eyebrows? And I was like, um, and she was like, cause they need doing. I was like, wow. I mean, she was right and she made the sale, but wow. So I got eyebrow threading, which I've never had before. A little bit painful, but I think I preferred it to waxing because it wasn't quite as, wasn't quite as bad actually as waxing. So my eyebrows look normal and human now. Um, I'm really, really happy with them. I went to Primark again. I didn't even show you what I got yesterday. So this is the top I got yesterday. It has like these sleeves, like so, and then it's like just a big baggy top. Uh, this is my outer to I did have my proper boots on, but at the moment I'm cold. And I also bought a new jacket. Let's go over here. This is what I got yesterday. Look at it. Oh, it's so nice. So today's haul. We'll bring it over here and I'll plonk you down and then I can show you. So I went into New Look and realised I'd forgotten my watch. Um, so I just picked up a watch. It got to the till that was on offer. This is it. Gold, sparkly. Very pretty, very happy with it. These Christmas pudding earrings. Look at them. Aren't they phantasmagorical? So I'm gonna wear those for Christmas day or around Christmas. I just thought they were super cute. These gym jams, which are super cute. Um, Cause I wanted to get some gym jams yesterday, but I just didn't end up getting any. So I just picked up these gym jams, quite thick, really cozy. Uh, a lot of my pajamas now are, were sort of the size 24 to 28 and they're just they're just too big for me now and although some of them you know it's like oh it's super cozy I'll stand up and they'll fall down and as we have friends day every so often and as I'm going away with Emily and we're sharing a room I didn't exactly want to flash her so I thought I'd pick up some new gem jams that actually fit me so the top I got yesterday this one I love it it was on offer it was a fiver so I picked up tops very similar to it that were also a fiver so there's this one which is super nice, super pretty. It's see-through, hella see-through. So I need to put strappy tops on underneath, but that, that doesn't really bother me. Super, super cute. So I picked up that one and it's got kind of the same sleeves, but not quite. I then picked up this top, but in the red one. And this is exactly the same top, just, yeah. I then picked up fairy lights. Um, these are like the tiny, tiny ones and my friend has them and they just look so cute running up the stairs and I think I'm just going to copy her. Uh, and then the rest of the stuff is for an upcoming video. Uh, not another Primark haul because it's getting to the point where I'm in Primark so much I'd have to do a video two or three times a month and you just don't need that. Just don't need that. I'll give you a sneak peek. Makeup. All of this is makeup. So I'll tell you about my journey. Really wanted to go out. I was so sick of being stuck in with no internet. And I know there's things I can do, but I just feel trapped. Like I can't do the things that I need to do necessarily. And I just had to get out, which is something that I've not really had for a long time because I was pretty much agoraphobic at one point. So wanting to go out is quite an odd experience for me. And I thought, well, actually I'd like to go pick up some pajamas again for the reason that I said. And I thought to myself, oh, I could go and see if I could get my nails done. And there's all these things that I've always wanted to do and just want to get done while I have the time to do it or I've got my day off. And just anxiety has just crippled me, like going to get my eyebrows done. And Mark can take me on the weekend and will take me on the weekend, but it's, you know, I think it's like five or six pounds to park where I live. It's a lot of money to park. And I could get the bus for like 250. Why can't I get in this? De Why do you do this? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Be cool. Do I need to unscrew it? Is that what I'm doing wrong here? I feel like I'm coming across really angry. Why don't I understand this? Oh, is it a slide? Oh, for f sake, it's a slide. 
anyway so i decided to just pop to the co-op which is near where i'd catch the bus because uh, i didn't have any cash on me so i had to go a little bit further just go there and pick up I don't know, a coffee or something. I ended up getting a bottle of water, which I still haven't actually drunk yet. I've just carried it around in my bag all day. Uh, and get some cash back. I got out of the co-op and started walking towards the bus stop. And before I even had chance to think about it, the bus was there. So I was like, oh. And it had, you know, city centre on it. So I was like, oh, well, okay. I just got on the bus. I just went and got on the bus. And once I was actually on it, and once I'd sat down, like paying and everything like that, because I was panicking, I'm gonna have enough cash on me. I'd drawn out a fiver. I thought that should be enough, surely. I had a couple of pounds on me. It was only 250. Got off the bus and just, I was surprised at how easy it was. Really enjoyed it, I loved it. Having time to myself, but doing something, which is not normally, well, it isn't something I do. And being around loads of people, again, is just not something that I do do on my own and I did, I nearly had a little bit of a panic attack while I was getting my nails done a tiny bit of one because it was in the middle of a mall and I was just sat waiting for her to come and do my nails and I was just sat there like <laughs> but I got over it which <laughs> it's a huge thing for me I know it sounds so lame and so like little but for someone who deems this as such a huge thing and it is a huge thing to me like, I can't believe I did it. I'm actually so proud of myself. And I could do it again, happily. Um, and then on the way back... <laughs> okay, so, on the way back, I wanted to get the bus back. That was my intention, because I thought, bus there, nailed it, bus back, brilliant. So where I live, there is the bus station, and it's basically in the centre of town. It's literally like a two-minute walk out of the way. And where I got my nails and eyebrows done, it was literally around the corner. You could see it if you moved a couple of buildings. So I went there, and bearing in mind, it's been a long time since I got a bus, and even longer since I got a bus on my own. So I went to where the bus station was. It's not there anymore. And I can remember there being this thing at the back end of last year, they were making this transport hub. And I was thinking, okay, well, maybe it's moved, like... To there which was over the road so I went over the road they haven't finished building it yet so there's no transport hub and there's no bus station and I'm thinking to myself wh where are all the buses so I'm like looking around trying to find a bus and by this point I'm starting to panic that I'm going to be stuck in town forever not that I could call someone to help me even like walk to people who I know live nearby or ask a friend or get a taxi none of this has like occurred to me yet I'm just panicking and I'm looking around trying to see if I can see a bus and maybe see which way the bus is going and it just wasn't wasn't working I couldn't find a bus so I thought well I have to get home I have to get home so I thought I'm just gonna get a cab I'm just gonna get the back of the cab and just go so we're driving along and I can see the meter going up and up and up and up and then we get to literally about half, not even half a mile, like a quarter of a mile near my house. And I'm thinking, oh good, that's going to kind of be just a little bit over what I paid. And then he turns and goes the long way. And I'm like, for goodness sake, sir. So what I actually ended up paying was £13.60. That's how much it cost me to get home when I paid six the other day. I'm like absolutely disgusted at that. And because of my anxiety kicking off and panicking, because I didn't actually know which way he was going at first, I thought I'm going to die in this cab because that's the first thing you go to, that's anxiety. I'm thinking, what? And then I realized where he was going and he went right past like all, the, like the really, really long way around, like past my um, brother and sister-in-law's house, which is like in the opposite direction. Well, you've done this on purpose, haven't you? I'm just, I'm really proud of myself. Such a difficult thing. And I come back with new eyebrows, lovely nails and pretty things. Right, let's put up these fairy lights. I've, I've been like talking at you for 20 minutes. <laughs> sudden got super freezing so i'm in my big cardi thing again it's so thick like it makes me look massive like i've got massive shoulders it's like having shoulder pads almost but i'm quite chilly i'm just having lunch so i thought i'd show you um my kind of keto staple at the moment salad salad chicken and bacon salad what's need to have all the time now 
Hello. It's a bit late now. It's that time of night. Oh, where I shut the curtains. I say that time of night. It is five past four. So, not really that time of night. With this cat though. Look at you. You all snug. All snug on the warm. I need to get you a radiator hang, I think. Oh, that's a big yawn. And then are we ready? <laughs> Da, da, da. Oh, where did I put it? Down here. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so cute! Wow! Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Oh. Do you know what? Let's put on the really pretty lights that I never, ever put on. There we go. Oh, I never use these. Probably because the bulbs are like really expensive, but I think in the entire like year and a bit we've lived here, I've never used them and they're just really cute, aren't they? We'll leave those on. And then we've got those going up the stairs. I am going to get more of these. I have to go and get more of these. Also, my nail looks amazing in that. Fairy lights everywhere, please. Oh, so cute. I keep going back to look. So cute. Focus. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys. So um, I just want to show you this jacket that I bought real quick. Mark's going to film it for me. Jack. Take two. <laughs> really cute. Really cozy. Love it. And it's all fleece and lined. Um, thank you, dear. Mark is home. <laughs> we are going to pop to Asda because we have no food in the house. So... Mm -hmm. We're going to go and do that. And I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you when we go see steps and finger boys. Bye.